Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, our topic for today is a cuboid and in this video we will discuss all its basic and fundamental properties. So without further ado, let's begin with the structure of a cuboid. A cuboid is a simple three-dimensional shape which has a length, a breadth and a height. Now for a cube, we know that all the three dimensions L, B and H are equal but for a cuboid, only two of them can be equal but all three of them cannot be equal. So for a cuboid, either L and B are equal and H is different, B and H are equal and L is different and L and H are equal and B is different. Remember that this is not a necessary condition for a cuboid. All the three sides of a cuboid can also be different and if the sides are equal, then it can be up to only two sides. Now similar to that of a cube, a cuboid has eight vertices and 12 edges. So you can see that we have eight vertices starting from A and going all the way up to H and you can also see that we have 12 edges, for example, AD, BC, CD and so on. A cuboid has six faces as well, so ADFG is one face, DCGH is another face, ABCD is another face and so on. So a cuboid is made up of six faces. If the length of the cuboid is L, the breadth of the cuboid is B and the height of the cuboid is H, then I can say that the perimeter of a cuboid is equal to four times L plus B plus H. The area of a cuboid or the total surface area of a cuboid is equal to twice of L into B plus B into H plus L into H. Now if you're thinking that how did we get this formula, then let me explain it to you. Now we know that we have six faces in a cuboid. Now we can clearly see that ABCD is one of the faces of the cuboid and let's say its area is A1, then the face directly opposite to ABCD will also have the same area as A1. Then if this face ABEF has an area of A2, then the face opposite to that will have the area same as that, that is A2. And if the third face has area of A3, then the face opposite to that will also have an area of A3. So now from this we got that two faces of a cuboid will have the same area and there are only three possibilities for the combination of the area. They can either be L into B, B into H or L into H. So from this we get the total surface area of a cuboid which is equal to twice of L into B plus B into H plus L into H. Every three dimensional figure has an additional property by which it can hold some amount of liquid inside it and the total capacity of liquid that it can hold is called as the volume. Now volume of a cuboid is nothing but the product of its all dimensions. So the volume of the cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height. Now similar to that of a cube, a cuboid has two kinds of diagonals. One is a face diagonal and another is a polydiagonal. So let's discuss both the diagonals one by one. The straight line that joins two opposite vertices in the same face of a cuboid is called as the face diagonal of the cuboid. So in the face ADGF, I can say that the GD is the face diagonal of the cuboid. Now if DF is the height of the cuboid and GF is the length of the cuboid, then I can say that the length of the face diagonal GD is equal to H square plus L square. The straight line that joins the two opposite vertices of two different faces in a cuboid is called as the body diagonal of the cuboid. So I can say that the diagonal GC is the body diagonal of the cuboid. A cuboid has in total of 12 face diagonals and 4 body diagonals. So let's do a quick summary of all the topics covered in this video. A cuboid is formed of 6 faces, 8 vertices and 12 edges. If the length of the cuboid is L, the breadth of the cuboid is P and the height of the cuboid is H, then the perimeter is equal 
to 4 into L plus B plus H and the area is equal to twice of L into B plus B into H plus L into H and the volume of a cuboid is equal to L into B into H. A cuboid has two kinds of diagonal, one is a face diagonal and other is the body diagonal and a cuboid has 12 face diagonals and 4 body diagonals. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy.